and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday, April the 2nd, and the girls and I are taking a little field trip today. We are just going to the lake, the same lake that we went to Easter weekend. Older girls are gonna do a little bit of fishing and the kids just want to go and hang out and play. So that is what we're doing today. We're taking a field trip day, a day away from all the school books and just gonna go out and have some fun. One of the girls have a friend over, so she's gonna go with us. We got finished up with lunch here. We were gonna pack our lunch and take it, but the place we're going actually has no picnic tables, no trash cans, so that would have been a little bit inconvenient with all these people. So we had lunch here and now we're gonna head out. A pretty day today, isn't it, girls? Yeah. It's nice weather. It's like 81 today, I think. The water's so calm, but this one's calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you pull her hair? Pull her hair up. Yeah, let me pull her hair up. There's actually a few boat boats out today, but they're not nearby. I'm sure we'll see some here soon though. The older girls went to the dock to fish, but Holly's fishing right here. Maybe you'll get something. All right, y'all, so it is now the next day. It's Wednesday. I didn't vlog a whole lot yesterday. We had tacos for dinner last night. Um, it is, we're getting ready to leave for violin here soon. Holly has violin at 2.30. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing for dinner tonight. It's one of our favorite spaghetti and meatball recipes. It is so good and you will not believe how easy it is. It's literally like the easiest spaghetti recipe ever and it all just goes into the crock pot. It only takes two and a half hours to cook, so it's gonna cook while we're gone. When I get home, I'll turn it off and just leave it on warm until we're ready to eat dinner before church. But I'm gonna show you how I make it real quick. All right, so first of all, you're just gonna use your spaghetti sauce of choice. I just have this um, Great Value Tomato Basil Garlic. We're gonna go in with half of the jar at the bottom. Next is just your favorite meatball of choice. These are our favorite um, the Italian style meatballs. We're just gonna layer these um, evenly across the spaghetti sauce now. So I'm just gonna layer all these little meatballs in there. Now we're gonna go in with the remaining spaghetti sauce. Now we're gonna add in four cups of water. Now take your spaghetti noodle of choice. I just have these half lint spaghetti noodles, great value. They're just easier so you don't have to break them in half. You're just gonna put them in and make sure they're under the water. You could also add any kind of like Italian season to this that you wanted to, oregano, whatever. Now we're gonna go in with three tablespoons of olive oil. And that is it. We're gonna cook it on low for about two and a half to three hours. All right, we are back home. The spaghetti is done and it looks amazing. And then we have salad to go with it. I kind of cheated on our salad while we were out, um, while I was waiting on Holly and Violin. I had some points on my Chick-fil-A app, so I went and got um, some of their side salads, put it all in a bowl here, tossed it together, and that's gonna be our salad on the side. And then I've got some garlic bread going in the oven. All right, so dinner was so good. It was fabulous. And actually, Allie and one of her friends made some homemade cookies this evening. They made, um, it is chocolate chip with M&Ms in it. I had one, y'all, and they are delicious. And they used the little containers that I got the salads with at Chick-fil-A. They washed those out and put them in the containers. They're actually going to be taking those to youth tonight. So we're getting ready to leave for church here soon. I'm actually just going to go ahead and carry this vlog into tomorrow as well. Tomorrow Emily has an orthodontist appointment. 
And my plan tomorrow is to finally wash those bottles I keep talking about. I have them right here on my counter. Let me show you. So I went and got everything out of um, the closet. I had them like in a cabinet in the closet. I went and got everything out that I need that's trash. Um, so that I could go ahead and sterilize them, but they've just been sent on my counter the last couple of days. So my plan tomorrow when I get home from the orthodontist is to make this my goal for tomorrow is to get all of this sterilized and put away um like i haven't meaning to do for so long this crazy weather y'all i'm telling you what it has us putting jackets on tonight it is so windy and so cold outside it feels like a winter day the high tomorrow is going to be like 54 i think so there we go all right y'all so it's now the next day i've got chicken over here thawing out for dinner tonight we're going to have chicken and rice casserole so I've got that sitting out on the counter. And now it's a little bit after three o'clock. Millie is down for her nap. The kids are having their quiet time in their room. So I'm gonna take this time and go ahead and bowl all the bottles, sterilize the bottles like I've been wanting to do. I just really haven't found the time to do it. I'm gonna show y'all something else that I'm working on here. I've got out Kylie's, um, a couple of Kylie's picture albums. Um, I have more than these. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just me or if it's everybody. I think it's everybody though. It's like if you have more than one kid, your first kid like has all of these albums, these scrapbooks, and all of these special things. And then as you get on down the line with the other kids, you start feeling really bad because you realize you don't have as many pictures of them. You don't have as many albums for them. At least that's my case. So it wasn't hard to go find Kylie's albums. I had that one upside down. But um, as most of you know, this year is Kylie's senior year. So she graduates in May. And this uh, private school she's attending a couple of days a week. Um, they're doing a graduation there. So I have to send in some pictures for her senior slideshow. Also some pictures for the yearbook. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just picking out some pictures, probably about seven to 10 pictures all together to send in for that. Um, so yeah, it's just been sweet to reminisce through some of these pictures. There's, um, there's Kylie and I when I was only 20 years old and she was one. A couple pictures of Kylie there. Just sweet, sweet memories. There's one of Josh kissing Kylie. There's one of Josh and Kylie sleeping. Just sweet, sweet, precious little pictures. There's one of me and Kylie carving a pumpkin when she was about one. That's when she was born. There's her little ultrasound profile in there. So sweet. So yeah, I'm just looking through all these pictures and gonna choose a few of them. All right, I think the water is ready now. I have a few options for bottles this time. I have some of the Tommy Tippy bottles, and then I have the Medela bottles, which are the ones that I have used for my last few babies. I just really like them. They're really slow flow. I don't feel like they get like strangled on the milk. Um, so I've got those. And then this is one that I got in like a sample box. It is a, I think it's a ma'am. And it came with a little passy with it. So I just have one of those. So I got all of the bottles finished up, got those dried and put away. Um, that did not take as long as I thought it would. It actually went by pretty quick. And I'm glad that task is behind me with part of the nesting phase. I think the next thing we're going to be doing is um, putting the baby's car seat in the van, getting that installed. And that is always one of the most exciting things to me for some reason. I don't know. It just feels so official once baby's car seat is in the van. I don't know. I'm just excited for that part. Um, but after I got that finished up, I got started on dinner. So I'm going to share the recipe with y'all tonight. It is a very easy. It's one of our family favorites. It's chicken and rice casserole. I actually remember this recipe by heart now. But what you want to do is just take up some chicken and cut it up in chunks and put it in your pan. Normally I put raw chicken in there, but this time I boiled it just because it was still a little bit frozen. And I'm doing two casseroles, but I'm just doing one for now just to show you the recipe. And on top of that, you want to boil um, two cups of minute rice or whatever rice you want. Layer that on the top. One can cream of chicken, one can cream of celery. You want to mix that all in there together with the rice and the chicken. And then after you get all of that mixed in, you want this is optional, but you can put a veggie in there. I normally do broccoli for my veggie um, in the chicken and rice casserole, but I was all out of broccoli. So what I did was I had some frozen green beans in the freezer that needed to be used up. So I just put some frozen green beans in there, which it was still, it was amazing. It was good. Um, so you put the green beans in there or whatever veggie you choose. And then after that, get it all spread out and then top it with some shredded cheese. It goes in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. 
Kylie made um, her pineapple casserole to go on the side, which is another awesome recipe. I will link both recipes down for down below for y'all, the chicken and rice casserole and the pineapple casserole. They're both really good. Everything turned out great. Um, and then I had some eggs I needed to wash up. So it was a busy day all in all, but a good day. I thank y'all for hanging out with us. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button before you leave today. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I will talk to you in the comments. Bye, friends.